In the continuation of the Android touchscreen car player series, this video demonstrates how to connect the front and rear car speakers, complete with a detailed wiring diagram. You can refer to the previous part of the video, where we showed the steps to connect the power to the player using the car battery or a DC SMPS power supply to turn on the player, with an accompanying wiring diagram. In this video, we demonstrate how to connect a 6x9 inch car speaker for the rear and a 6x6 inch car speaker for the front. These speakers, ranging from 600 to 900 watts, are effectively supported by the Android player without the need for any additional amplifiers. This setup ensures powerful and clear audio output directly from your car player. On the screen, you've seen the three-way 9-inch coaxial car speakers with an inbuilt PEI car tweeter and HOP woofer, rated at 900W max per speaker. These high-performance speakers deliver rich, full-range audio, making them an ideal choice for enhancing your car's sound system. A three-way 9-inch coaxial car speaker combines three audio drivers, a PEI tweeter for high frequencies, a mid-range driver, and a HOP woofer for deep bass, into one unit. This design ensures a full range of clear and powerful sound. With a 900W max power rating, these speakers deliver loud, distortion-free audio, making them ideal for enhancing your car's sound system. Let's begin the wiring process. Here, we're using 24 AWG red and black wires to connect the speakers to the car player. The red wire is typically used for the positive connection and the black wire for the negative, ensuring a clear and stable audio signal from the player to the speakers. Prepare the wires. Begin by cutting the 24 AWG red and black wires to the required length, ensuring they can comfortably reach from the car player to each speaker. Leave a bit of extra slack to avoid any tension on the wires, which helps maintain a secure and reliable connection. There are two ways to connect the wires to the speaker, using terminal lugs or soldering the wires directly to the speaker terminals. For this installation, it's recommended to use terminal lugs, as they provide a secure and reliable connection without the risk of damaging the speaker. Soldering can generate heat that may harm the speaker components, so it's best to avoid that method for this setup. Connect the terminal lugs. Begin by attaching a terminal lug to each of the stripped wires. Take the stripped end of the red wire and slide it into the terminal lug, ensuring that the bare copper is fully inserted. Using a crimping tool, firmly crimp the terminal lug onto the wire, creating a strong connection that prevents any slippage. Repeat this process with the black wire and its corresponding terminal lug. It's essential to ensure a secure fit, as this will provide a reliable electrical connection for optimal audio performance. Once both terminal lugs are attached, you can prepare to connect them to the speaker terminals. As demonstrated in the video, carefully align the terminal lug of the red wire with the positive terminal of the speaker and the black wire's terminal lug with the negative terminal. This setup ensures that the audio signal flows correctly and minimizes the risk of short circuits. Make sure to tighten the connections securely to prevent any loose wiring, which could lead to poor sound quality or intermittent connections. Prepare both the left and right speakers by aligning the red wire's terminal lug with the positive terminal and the black wire's terminal lug with the negative terminal. Ensure that each connection is secure, following the same procedure for both speakers. Now, let's connect the speakers to the car player. 
On the player, you'll find the speaker wiring labeled for each position, front left, front right, rear left, and rear right. Use these labels to match the corresponding speaker connections based on your setup. For example, the speakers we are using as rear positions will connect to the corresponding wires on the player. You will find the rear speaker wires labeled for each speaker. The rear right speaker wire is denoted as rear, right and plus, and rear, right and minus. Similarly, labeled as rear, left and plus, and rear, left and minus. Each speaker requires two connections, one for the positive terminal and one for the negative terminal. Make sure to connect the terminal lug of the rear right speaker to both the rear, right and plus and rear, right and minus terminals on the player, and do the same for the rear left speaker with the corresponding terminals. You need to join the wires by stripping the ends of the speaker wires on the car player. Begin by carefully stripping about a quarter inch, 6 to 7 millimeters, of insulation from the ends of the rear speaker wires connected to the car player. The following diagram may help to clarify the positive and negative connections for proper wiring. For the rear right speaker, connect the positive terminal to the terminal labeled rear, right and plus. Then, connect the negative terminal to the terminal labeled rear, right and minus. This ensures proper polarity for the speaker connection. Make sure that all joints are properly insulated to prevent any short circuits or interference, which can affect sound quality. Use heat shrink tubing or electrical tape to cover the connections securely, ensuring a reliable and safe installation. Repeat the same procedure for the rear left speaker. Connect the positive terminal to the terminal labeled rear, left and plus. Then, connect the negative terminal to the terminal labeled rear, left and minus. This ensures proper polarity for the speaker connection. Make sure that all joints are properly insulated to prevent any short circuits or interference, which can affect sound quality. Use heat shrink tubing or electrical tape to cover the connection securely, ensuring a reliable and safe installation. Additionally, the provided diagram will help guide you in making the correct connections.
prepare and connect the wires for both the left and right speakers by aligning the terminal lug of the red wire with the positive terminal and the terminal lug of the black wire with the negative terminal. Ensure that each connection is secure, following the same procedure for both speakers. Properly tighten the connections to prevent any loose wiring, which could affect sound quality and performance. For the speakers we are using as front positions, you will connect them to the corresponding wires on the player. The front speaker wires are Connections for proper wiring. For the front right speaker, connect the positive terminal to the terminal labeled front, right and plus. Then, connect the negative terminal to the terminal labeled front, right and minus. This ensures proper polarity for the speaker connection. Make sure that all joints are properly insulated to prevent any short circuits or interference, which can affect sound quality. Use heat shrink tubing or electrical tape to cover the connections securely, ensuring a reliable and safe installation. Repeat the same procedure for the front left speaker. Connect the positive terminal to the terminal labeled front, left and plus. Then, connect the negative terminal to the terminal labeled front, left and minus. This ensures proper polarity for the speaker connection. Ensure that all joints are properly insulated to prevent any short circuits or interference, which can affect sound quality. Use heat shrink tubing or electrical tape to cover the connections securely, ensuring a reliable and safe installation. Additionally, the provided diagram will help guide you in making the correct connections. Once you have completed the wiring, turn on the power to start the system and check the audio quality. Ensure that all connections are secure and properly insulated before powering up. Test each speaker individually to confirm that they are functioning correctly and producing clear sound without distortion. Adjust the volume levels as needed to optimize the audio experience.